Welcome to the ProScan case review series. And today's case, a very interesting neurodegenerative one, is part of our core, our board review, and our recredentialing review with questions for those of you that are taking upcoming examinations so we can help you not only raise the bar of care, but do well on your examination. Our first case today is an uncommon but a very interesting one. Uh, who you pick for Super Bowl? Well, I'm here with my colleague, uh, technical colleague, uh, Alex Kolesnikov, a Muscovite from, from Russia. And um, Mr. Mr. Kolesnikov, I, I'm focused on the case and the education of the people that are watching this educational program, focused on the thing directly in front of me. Uh, okay, what do you think of the Seahawks defense, please? M Mr. Kolesnikov, I I'm focused on only one thing, and that is the case material and the educational value of what I am about to present. Will Real Madrid will be in Super Bowl? Will win Super Bowl? M okay. M M Mr. Kolesnikov, Real Madrid is a soccer team. They, they are not playing in the Super Bowl. And I am focused on only one thing, the education, material, and quality of the information we're about to present to the audience. So let's get started with the case. This is a 67-year-old, 67-year-old man with a gait disturbance. I am showing you on the far left a T1 in the middle of flare, and on the right, a diffusion restriction image. Let's look at the first question, shall we? All may be included in the differential diagnosis of restricted diffusion in the cerebral cortex and subcortical region except A, MILAS, mitochondrial encephalopathy, lactic acidosis, and stroke-like episodes. B venous hypertensive encephalopathy, C, fatal familial insomnia, D, HIV encephalopathy, and E, prion disease. You can pause the educational program if you wish, but HIV encephalopathy is characterized with patchy, or confluent, white matter abnormalities, often asymmetric with atrophy, especially cortical atrophy, but it is not typically associated with diffusion restriction on diffusion imaging. Question number two. MRI findings of CJD, also known as Creutzfeldt jakob disease, include all of the following except abnormal T2 and flare, high signal intensity in the cerebral cortex, A. B, cerebral atrophy, C, abnormal T2 intensity in the caudate, basal ganglia, and thalamus. D, restricted regional diffusion in a gyral pattern, sometimes symmetric. And E, post-contrast regional cortical enhancement. And the answer is E. Typically in CJ disease, there is little to no contrast enhancement which helps you differentiate this from, say, bilateral cortical infarctions, which at some point will enhance. All of the following are true regarding Creutzfeldt Jakob disease, except CJD may be sporadic, familial, iatrogenic, or variant slash mixed. That's A. B. Variant CJD is associated with bovine spongiform encephalopathy and transmitted through consumption of contaminated meat. In other words, it's transmitted to humans by eating cow. C, typical presentation of CJD is slowly progressive dementia and motor dysfunction. D, lesions in the pulvinar nuclei of the thalamus, the so-called pulvinar or hockey stick sign, can be seen sometimes with sporadic and mostly with variant 
CJD? And the answer to this one is C. CJD patients typically present with more rapidly progressive dementia, myoclonus, and multifocal neurologic dysfunction, with motor dysfunction being a lesser symptom, only in the end game. Question number four. Prion-mediated disease may present with A, myoclonus, B, dementia, C, pyramidal signs, D, cerebellar signs, E, all of the above. And the answer is E, all of the above. In addition to MRI, question number five, diagnostic aids for CJD and other spongiform encephalopathies include sporadic spikes on EEG, A, B, urine, aryl sulfatase or sulfatide, C, fatty acid screen, D, IgM measurement in CSF, E, serum protein electrophoresis. And the answer is periodic synchronous discharges on the EEG are typical or characteristic for CJD. Another diagnostic test for CJD is the immunoassay for the 14-3-3 protein in the cerebral spinal fluid. There are several diseases that fall into the category of spongiform encephalopathies. There are in fact two major variants of CJD. There's the classic one, which is seen in older individuals around age 68, and then the variant one at about age 28 to 30. In the classic disease, it is rapidly progressive, usually resulting in death within four to five months. In the variant one, they live longer, perhaps 14 months. In the classic one, they have dementia. In the variant one, they often have psychiatric disturbance. In the classic one, they do have the spiked EEG findings. The pulvinar sign, or the hockey stick sign, is more typical of variant CJD, seen in 75% of individuals. Involvement of the caudate, the putamen and thalamus, very typical in variant CJD and diffusion restriction more common as seen here in the cortex in variant CJD. We have it in the motor area, in the perirolandic area, and along the posterior parieto-occipital cortex, along with hyperintensity on the flare, but little evidence of abnormality on the contrast-enhanced T1-weighted image. So now I think I'll, I'll turn the tables on my colleague, Mr. Kolesnikov. Hello. And I have several questions to, to ask you about the culture in Russia. Russia. Do you think dementia is a big problem in Russia as it is in the United States with the aging population? Yeah. Man, a few words. Um, do you worry about eating meat? In, in Russia, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, a man, a man, a few words. Uh, all right. Um, well, I think I'll throw you a zinger then. There are only two animals in which these prions can be transmitted to humans from animals. One of them is the cow, so-called mad cow disease. I'm willing to bet you don't know what the other animal is. Of course. It's the mink. Well, as you can see, I'm humbled and stunned. That is the correct answer. Transmissible mink encephalopathy is the other spongiform encephalopathy that is transmitted from animals to humans. This concludes our Super Bowl week of case review, preparing you for your examinations and boards. Hope you have a great week and enjoy the game. Go Real Madrid. Go Real Madrid. Thank you. Спасибо.